<laughs> you have the right to remain in love with each other. Don't say anything hurtful. Support each other no matter what and keep making memories. You have the right to talk to other married couples for advice if you wish. If you do not wish to talk to others, make sure you make up and never go to bed angry and keep loving each other. You can decide at any time to ignore these rights and just keep doing what you guys have been doing. Having these rights in mind, are you guys going to love, care, and support each other? Yes. Yes. Now go enjoy your marriage. A good marriage must be created. So you get to make of it whatever you want. And that's the special thing because it's unique to you too. A good marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. That's a minimum. It's never going to bed angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other the atmosphere in which you can grow. It is common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. You look good too. Sharp dressed man right there. <laughs> these are the hands of your best friend. As I tie these hands with a cord, I want to say a blessing. So these hands of your best friend that hold yours on your wedding day as a promise to love each other all the days of your life. These are the hands that will work alongside yours together as you build a future, as you laugh, as you cry, as you share the innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that work long hours for you and your new family. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless time wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. says, husbands, you are to love your wife so deeply and purely and sacrificially that we can understand it only when we compare it to the love that Jesus has for his bride, the church. We know he gave himself up on the cross to make her his own, washing her to clean her of all impurity with water and the powerful presence of his word. He has given himself so that he can present the church as a radiant bride, unstained, unwrinkled, unblemished, completely free of impurity, holy and innocent before him. So husbands should care for their wives as if their lives depended on it, the same way they care for their own bodies. As you love her, as you love Carly, you are ultimately are loving a part of yourself. Remember today, you're becoming one flesh. Nick, 
You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> yeah. Nick became very close and close to Carly's friends and family instantly, showing that he is a true family guy, very easygoing, considerate of others, and most importantly, supportive of Carly no matter what. You came into Carly in all of our lives, and you have done nothing but make it incredible. I have never seen my best friend so happy in her life. Guys, we love you. From, from my family, Carly, you, you have no idea how much we appreciate you. Again, Nick, I, I, you already know. I don't have to say it.